Welcome to part 1 of the Microphone Input Visuals tutorial by PeerPlay. In this first part we will add microphone input behavior to our audio peer class. You can choose whether to use the microphone or use an audio clip to get the spectrum data. If you have followed the audio visualization tutorial, add the audio peer class to your project and you're good to go. Let's start working in our audio peer class. And we will start by adding some variables. So let's call them microphone input and the first thing we need our script to know is whether we want to use a microphone or not so for that we can create a boolean let's say a public bool and we'll call it use microphone so up until this point we had to drag and drop our music into the audio clip of the audio source but when we are using the microphone input it will become the audio clip and this audio clip will be gone. So we need to make a reference to an audio clip of the song that we want to use if we are not using the microphone anymore in runtime. So let's do that in the script. And I'm going to place it above the boolean and let's say here a public audio clip and we'll call this audio clip. Now we're going to scroll down to the start function and right in between the audio profile and the audio source we will initiate the microphone and we're going to start off with an if statement if we have ticked on the use microphone boolean then we want to do something we could use else or say if we have unticked the use microphone then we want to do something else so if we are not using the microphone we can place the audio clip into the audio source clip so we'll say here that the audio source dot clip is going to be the audio clip now if we are using the microphone we have to check whether we have actually any microphone connected and if we do not have any microphone connected into our operation system then unity will give a error and it will crash so we gotta make an if statement in this if statement we are going to check how many microphone devices are connected to the computer and we can talk to a class called microphone and we want to get the devices and the length of it so if the length of devices are higher than zero or in other words if there is something connected to the computer that's a microphone device then we want to proceed but if it's zero or else then we'll set the use microphone to become false now if there is a microphone device connected to the computer then we're going to do the same thing as with the audio source clip and set it to an audio clip but instead of that we're going to set it to the microphone input so let's say here that audio source dot clip is going to be microphone dot start and the start function requires four different variables so first of all the device name we could say here null and it would take the default device at zero but what if we have more microphone inputs and we want to change it between that we need to have some string to change and we can do that dynamically so let's scroll up to the top and at the microphone input variables let's create here a public string and we'll call this string selected device now this selected device we can use that in the start function but the selected device must be specified first so let's do that so above the audio source clip I will say that the selected device is going to be microphone dot devices and I'll get the first device to a string now the device name will be put into the string of selected device we can use it in the start function here now onto the second variable which is the boolean whether to loop or not and as we want to record the voice constantly we're going to set this to true now the length in seconds I'm just gonna set this length to 10 no specific reason 
and we'll move on to the frequency. Here we have to specify the frequency on which we want to record. So we could say 44,100 or make it 22,050. But what I rather like to do is take here the audio settings of Unity and get the output sample rate, which is by default 44,100. But if you would change it in the settings of the output sample rate, it will immediately take effect in the recording of the microphone. So at this point, uh, let's save the script and go back to Unity. Now, as we've got our audio clip slot here, we can select here our audio clip and remove the audio clip from the audio source itself. Also, we want to try out the microphone, so tick on the Use Microphone and we'll start up the scene. Now, now as you can, as you can see, see, the, the microphone, microphone is, working is working and it's, and it's already, already visualizing, visualizing the microphone, the microphone input. input. But there, there is, is a problem, because you hear my voice in an echo, echo. and that's, and that's not, not really what, what we, want. we want. We could, we could uh, change, change this by setting, by setting the, volume the volume to zero, but if we set the volume to zero, I don't get any response from Unity. Now, now we, we could, could try, try to mute it. it. But the same thing happens when I mute it, I don't see any response. So we so have we to have fix, fix this. this. And as we want to get the spectrum data of our audio source, but we do not want to listen to the audio source, we need to make use of an audio mixer. So let's go to create and select the audio mixer. I'll press enter and double click on the audio mixer. Now here we can make some different groups. You already see the master, click on this little plus and you can create a new group and I will call this group the microphone group. Now this microphone group we will set all the way to minus 80. Now that our audio mixer is set up we can go to the audio peer and we need to change a few more things in our class. The only thing we need to set up is that if we're using the microphone we are going to use the audio mixer group of the microphone and if we're using an audio clip we're going to use the mixer group of the master. So let's scroll all the way to the top and let's type in here a public audio mixer group and we'll call the first uh, mixer group microphone and the second one we'll call the mixer group master. Now scroll to the start function where we're going to say that if we are using the microphone we're going to set the audio source dot its output audio mixer group is going to be the mixer group microphone and if we're not using a microphone we're going to set the audio source dot its output mixer group to the mixer group master now that should be all let's save the script and go back to unity now we simply have to drag and drop the master into the master and a microphone group into the group of the microphone. Now with this setup, let's test our microphone again. Now we've got the desired result. Unity is visualizing my voice, getting the amplitudes from the audio peer class, but isn't returning the audio. In the next part, we will start extending our system in the update function, so that we can select different microphone inputs or turn it on or off. For now I want to thank you for watching, if you liked this tutorial hit the thumbs up and if you want to stay updated with new parts or more tutorials subscribe to the channel. To gain access to the source files of this project and support me in making these tutorials available for everyone, become a patron on Patreon. See you next time.